Hey, I'm Andy Allidord, and in today's video lesson, I'm going to be talking about the inimitable Jeff Beck and the techniques that he uses to achieve the incredible sounds that he gets when he plays the guitar. All right, I've got here a Jeff Beck model Fender Stratocaster. And one of the things uh, about Jeff's style uh, for the last number of years is he has his guitar set up in a very specific way that allows him to play in the way that he wants to play and achieve the sounds that, that he wants to achieve. So one of the most important elements in that is the tremolo system. Uh, Jeff has the tremolo set uh, very soft and also the bridge itself is way up off the face of the guitar so you can pull up on the bar on the G string a minor third with enough room to vibrato. So actually if you pull up as hard as you can I have this guitar set to uh, a major third, two whole steps. That way I can do a minor third and get a vibrato. All right, so if we take a look at the bridge, uh, you can see that it's raised up off the body of the guitar. I'm going to turn it so you can get a better look at it. So you can see it's raised up quite a bit. And that way, While playing, Jeff can not only go down with the arm, he can go up with the arm. And then there's a variety of other techniques that he uses. He'll play with his hand wrapped around the arm and his index finger somewhere near the uh, tip of the bar. And then he's picking with his thumb. And in that way, he can either swoop up to notes, or play something like this. Where you play a note. And then you can use the arm to, to create an in-between note. Another thing that he'll do is he'll flick the bar. to get those flutters. And I wanted to show you that I have the guitar set up with three springs and the claw is out relatively far. Um, I would say to get the sort of a floating uh, ability with the bridge and the amount of softness that you need, you certainly shouldn't use more than three springs. Uh, you could use two springs and then tighten the claw in a little bit more, and then in that case I would use the two outside springs. But I've achieved the same uh, flexibility with the arm using three springs in this way.